If you do this, you will always be happy. I 100% promise you. Trust me, it's the thing that I always do. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian. I help entrepreneurs reprogram their mind, rewire their lives for success, happiness, abundance, fulfillment, you name it, I do it, and purpose. So this video, like I said, if you do this every single day, you will be happy. I promise you. Happiness is actually very, very, very simple. Step one, stop comparing yourself to other people. I know you do it. I sometimes do it. But when I do it, my days are not great. When I don't do it, and I focus on my journey. Because we always compare ourselves to someone who is on step 100. Now, think about this. If you're a girl, and you are interested in being an entrepreneur, an influencer, and you compare yourself to Kylie Jenner. If you've come from an average background, just like myself, I'm not a girl, but if you come from an average background, it is not realistic to compare yourself with someone of that stature. Yes, she has worked very hard, and I'm not slating her at all. I think she's brilliant. I think everything she's done, she's a genius. No one who has made a billion dollars, or whatever it is, is stupid, sorry. You're not. You can't if you're thick. <laughs> you just can't. <laughs> There's strategy. You have to have strategy. Yes, she would have had some help. So does everyone that makes that much money. They don't just make it on their own. But she was born into a family that was already of quite high stat status. 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 They already had a platform for her to jump from. Doesn't mean she's worse than anyone. Doesn't mean she doesn't deserve it. She's worked hard for it. She's just been given an upper hand in life. Now, take for example, someone like Richard Branson. Came from nothing. Absolutely nothing. Whether you like him, whether you don't, is, is beyond the point. Came from nothing. He created his wealth to be a billionaire. So, don't compare your journey to Richard Branson there. Don't compare your journey, or if you're gonna compare your journey, compare it to Richard Branson. It's possible. That's all you need to know, it's possible. And it doesn't have to be being a billionaire. This could be going from, maybe like myself, where I went from completely anxious, depressed, worried, fearful every day, to happy, abundant, prosperous, and free, and feeling happy within myself. From here, from the heart. Because happiness comes from the heart. Happiness will not be found in a new laptop. Happiness will not be found in a new phone. Happiness will not be found from things or money. Ironic that I use money as an example, but I was just saying from a comparison point of view. But if you want to be, let's give a great example, if you want to be as happy as Jay Shetty, he seems like quite a happy guy, in fairness. I love all his stuff, he's brilliant. I love all his stuff, all the stuff he makes. Why would it make sense for me to compare myself to him, knowing that one, he's been doing it for longer than me, two, he's, he's, he's been a monk, <laughs> so he's had that ability to understand happiness to a core, so I don't compare myself to him. I'm inspired by him, which is completely different, and what I use is, that's where I want to be, use that person. Let's say you want to be like Kylie Jenner, okay, perfect, Kylie Jenner, Richard Branson, Jay Shetty, Tony Robbins, Joe Dispenza, whoever it is that you want to be like. What did they do along their journey? A journey isn't easy. A journey isn't puzzle piece after puzzle piece after puzzle piece after puzzle piece. A journey is puzzle piece, Jenga cube, a uh, bit of Lego, um, a Jenga cube, another bit of Lego, uh, a puzzle piece, a broken puzzle piece. Oh, two puzzle pieces that fit together perfectly. Ah, that's all you need in order to succeed. For some reason, these videos, I keep getting little rhymes in it without even realizing. <laughs> but essentially, you only need those two puzzle pieces to fit together. You're gonna have Jenga block, Lego, puzzle piece, Jenga block, Lego, puzzle piece, Jenga block, Lego, puzzle piece, puzzle piece. <gasps> Just like Snap, just like playing Snap. Snap, right, perfect. Now we've got the opportunity. You need to prepare for this opportunity. Don't compare yourself. Don't worry about what other people are doing. In be inspired by those people. Take action from what they say, but don't say they're better than me because they're not. No one is better than you. No one. You can be anything that you want to be. The difference is, are you willing to go out and do what you need to do in order to get to that place? Because these people who you're comparing yourself to, you haven't seen the five, 10 years they've been waiting. You haven't seen the five, 10 years they've been grinding. And it's interesting, I said to myself, I've been on my journey for about five or six years now. 
My journey for the next five or six years is going to be huge. I know that. Because the first five or six years, I thought was going to be, uh, I generally said this, I'm going to be a millionaire at 23. Not close. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Yet. And I'm 23 very soon. I was coming from an optimistic standpoint. That's not always bad, because I, every year I would start the year with, this is going to be the year I'm going to be a millionaire. This is going to be the year I'm going to be a millionaire. My goal has now changed and now it came to happiness and I've achieved that. So now my next goal is to create financial abundance for myself in order to help more and more people. So, and that's what I recommend you go for. Go for the happiness first. Don't go for the external. Don't go for anything like that. Focus on you, your mental health, please. Because that is the thing that will drive you. That is the thing that will keep you on fire when you're going towards your goals. You don't have to have massive goals in life. You may just want to be a great mum. You may just want to be a great dad. You may want to be a teacher. You may want to be an archaeologist. Don't know why that came to mind. You may want to just travel the world. You may want to start a YouTube channel. It doesn't matter what you want to do. All that matters is that you know you have an outcome. Because if you don't have an outcome, you're, it's like turning on the GPS and going, take me to my destination. Well, where do you want to go? You should know that. I'm sorry, I'm a GPS. I don't know how to do that. You need to put in the destination in order to get there. So. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop worrying about their opinions. Because quite frankly, they don't live your life. And I'm just gonna get real with you for a second because I know what it feels like when, when you're so worried about other people's opinions. Do they pay your bills? No. Do they live your life? No. Are they gonna really affect your life? And if they are, think about getting new friends. Are they going to be there when you're down? Have they been there when you're down? If the answer is yes, keep them. If the answer is no, you don't need those people. You don't need people who tear you down. Don't worry about their opinions. And the easiest way to do this is why I use hypnosis because it's an easy way to undo trauma that's happened. Forget those emotions. Forget those people. You don't need them. You need you. You need good people around you because you can't do it alone, admittedly. But if you truly want to live a happy, a free, and just a joyful life, that's what you need to do. Stop worrying about opinions. Stop comparing yourself. And then if you really want to speed up the process, this is what my offer is to you, is use hypnosis. And it doesn't have to be me hypnotizing you, it can be anyone, or you can do it online. Watch videos that I post, watch the motivational playlist that I created. Reprogram that mind. The reason hypnosis works so fast is because I undo the emotional connection to that trauma, which allows you to release it, take the wisdom from it, move on, and not have that emotional connection and act in that way that you were when you were 10 years old when something like that arises. You can release it quite quickly and it's really, really simple to do. So give yourself permission today to stop comparing yourself. Stop worrying about others' opinions and release all the emotions from those traumas in your past. You deserve it. So I hope this video has given you something of inspiration, something of value. Keep spreading love, kindness, and positivity.